So before the video starts, I just want to point out that this is a more serious topic. It's not a compilation of clips or funny moments. So uh, those of you who are actually interested in the topic, which is going to be BCL rule set, uh, feel free to stay as well as enjoy the gameplay in the background, although it's kind of bad. And those of you who, uh, this is not a video for everyone, I'm sorry, and this is actually my personal opinion on the rule set. And I only want to be focusing on the rule set and not weapon balance, which I'll probably mention a few times. But if you want, if you like this video and you want me to do a video on my opinion on weapon balance, then I'll gladly do one as well. So the BCL rule set is kind of as follows: it's a domination match with everyone's uh, at same health, default uh, weapons, as well as yeah, default weapons and gear, as well as the same maps over and over again. Um, I can kind of see where they were going. It's definitely, it definitely looks like more kind of CSGO where all your gear, everyone has the same gear and no one has an advantage by having something else. But it kind of doesn't work like that in the game. Blacklight was founded, and you can look this up in development diaries, Blacklight was made, or Retribution was made, to basically give the player the freedom to play how they would like to and to kind of master that area. In fact, the original game even had skill points where you could like put it in a certain direction to kind of direct how your character was going to develop over time. And BCL only reflects one of those playstyles. If I were to say this, because a lot of people know him, it reflects Verb's playstyle and a tryhard playstyle at the most, which, which makes sense because it is competitive, but it also it also like restricts anyone else who wants to play competitive but isn't necessarily the best at playing that playstyle and i know what you might be thinking is like well ping pong the tournament is to kind of show who's the best at the game it's not really because like i said you're only focusing on one playstyle and blacklight works in the sense that there's multiple playstyles and people can kind of choose how they want to play and so there's really no best at blacklight because to be the best you would have to be able to play each way at maximum performance be above everyone else so restricting restricting everything to one area shows that you're you could be your team or you personally could be the best in this area but that doesn't mean that you're the best in the game i'm just going to point that out right now and like i said the rule sets kind of it restricts people who don't play that certain way and so it kind of limits who's going to join as well as limit who wants to do it as well as kind of shows the flaws in the games that have this rule set where you can't cloak or you can't or you can't use melee or you can't run a build that's higher than 220 or lower than 200 well or even lower than 220 or try to even run a speed build or even try to customize your weapon it kind of shows that they're mainly trying to f and i'm not blaming them i feel like they tried their best when thinking about it or when BCL was thinking about it, but it's just it's just not really able to be done. When you don't restrict people on items, you actually get to show kind of who's if competitive because competitive is to show who's better at the game. It shows who's better at getting around like certain playstyles as well as countering certain playstyles as well as mastering certain playstyles or being versatile, which is what Blacklight is when I when I said earlier. So restricting it to this kind of one thing isn't really a good competitive scene i don't think and although they were trying to do counter-strike it doesn't work because counter-strike's entire game revolves around this these kind of the same concepts that as competitive has whereas com our competitive and blacklight is trying to revolve around a certain aspect of the game and not all of it so it's 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 a tournament and i can kind of see why they were trying to do it domination was more objective objective based but let's be clear here if you if you're better skill wise in TDM as a team than the other team then you're going to be better skill wise domination it, it's just how it works there's rarely you'll ever go into a match unless no one's hacking a node and since the whole point of competitive is to be super try hard as well as try the win everyone's going to be trying to hack nodes as soon as they kill and as soon and if you go in a public lobby where that's the case it's always going to be the team with the most kills it, it, it just doesn't make sense to have for it not to work out that way because the people who the more time that people are going to respawn the less time they're going to have to capture points and time is everything in that uh, game mode so yeah it's not it's really just a kill based game mode they could have done it with tdm in fact it'd probably be easier with tdm because you could actually nah it'd probably just be the same it, it's really hard because unlike nukin which is actually very he uh, heavily objective based and you would have to dominate the team really, really hard 
in order to stop them from winning, it Nukin was probably going to be the best. And I hope if Nukin comes back, or not Nukin, Siege, sorry, the game mode, the map was Nukin. If Siege ever comes back, then that's probably that's a better thing to work with than Domination, because Domination is still pretty kill-based. It doesn't directly show it, but if you ever go into a match with Domination, mainly the team with the most kills is probably going to come out on top. And so yeah, the rule set is, it was kind of a good shot at a good competitive scene, but to be honest, the way Blacklight's designed, it's not, the competitive scene shouldn't be as restrictive, because the game wasn't designed to be as restrictive. And, but there's also weapon balancing, which I'm not going to talk about right now which is kind of why they went the certain way. So basically what I'm trying to say is competitive shouldn't be in Blacklight yet until they fix everything. And for those of you saying the game doesn't need to be fixed, no, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed. And I could go on ranting in other videos, which I probably will be because I'm kind of pissed off about it. But DCL was kind of... The reason why I'm kind of saying this is because just to... Just kind of wanted to state my opinion out there. So why I don't really like the competitive scene in Blacklight is because it really just kind of goes one direction. So yeah, that's my opinion on something. I'd love to hear your guys' opinion about this idea, and if you want me to talk about weapon balancing as well as some other topics, like, um, then yeah, please uh, leave a comment. Uh, feel free to like the video. If you like this video and you would like to see more of them, I would suggest you like the video, and if you want me to or if you don't like this and just, I don't know, just don't do anything or maybe dislike it, I, I really don't care. This is just kind of something I need to get off my chest. So yeah, uh, if you did like the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for staying for this long. And the reason why I'm kind of having trouble uploading is because of uh, multiple reasons, mainly being of schedule and I'm actually working on a 100 subscriber thing, which is going to be pretty cool when it's out. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching and uh, bye.